Happy Halloween! It's time for another story time with Nana Halloween edition. This one is kind of a special book. This book, A Halloween Scare in Michigan. That's where Nana and Papa live. We live in the state of Michigan. Prepare if you dare for a Michigan scare, a night of pure terror to whiten your hair. A tale full of sights that are best left unseen. You ready? You sure? This was my Halloween. Oh, look, there's the Mackinac Bridge and the state capitol and Tiger the tiger sign at, at the stadium. Lots of little Michigan things. The werewolves howled loudly. The moon shone so bright. I stayed in my bedroom. The curtains shut tight. See, there's the wolves howling and the moon shining bright, showing bats flying in the air. My heart started pounding. My knees felt so weak. But being a brave kid, I just had to peek. He was in his bedroom, but he peeked up the window to see what was going on. I pulled back the curtains. My mouth opened wide. An army of monsters had gathered outside. I staggered and stumbled and lurched down the streets with bags full of cookies and candy corn treats. Oh, look at all the monsters. They're walking down the road. Emerging from sewers and houses and stores came creatures and critters with ravenous roars. Then more came along from all over the state. They filled up the streets at a dizzying rate. Wow, look at all, they're coming in the bus, Michigan Tours, Michigan Munch Restaurant. Look, there's ghosts peeking out of the window. From Lansing and Arbor and Kalamazoo, from Detroit, Grand Rapids, and Wyoming too. See, there's a sign that says Detroit that way and Grand Rapids that way. And it's a stop sign and there's the monsters all gathered together for one spooky night to seek out the living and give them a fright. Oh, look, they've come to maybe scare everybody. Do you think that that's why they came? The thunder clacked loudly with terrible booms. The witches dodged lightning and clung to their brooms. The two-headed doggies tried chasing their tails, and banshees let loose their hideous whales. Vampires hung out on the streets in their gangs and grinned just to show off their pearly white fangs. The mummies moaned loudly and swayed side to side while Frankenstein stomped about town with his bride. There's the banshees, banshees scream and yell. There's witches flying on their brooms. And there's a vampire showing their pearly white teeth. And there's the mummies going in and out of houses. And there's Frankenstein with, their bri with his bride saying, just buried in Michigan. A big grumpy octopus strode into town. He picked up the locals and waved them around and said, please stop throwing my friends on the ice. You think that it's lucky, but no, it's not nice. See, there's this thing in Michigan that they do at the hockey games for the Red Wings, and they throw octopus on the ice. So that's what he's talking about, to stop throwing octopus on the ice rink where they play hockey. A kraken awoke in a very bad mood and rose to the surface to look for some food. She swam down the streets and attacked Mighty Mac. The youpers and trolls had to beat the, best, the beast back. See, there's the Mackinac Bridge, and the Kraken is coming out. And the people that are called trolls are the ones that live in the state that looks like Michigan. 
and the ones that live up are Upers and the UP. The creepies were crawly. The crazies were crazed. The zombies from Dearborn had eyes that were glazed. The orgs from the UP were ugly as sin with the big bugly noses and warts on their chin. And there's a wart on his chin. The ghouls danced around but were lacking in soul. The gargoyles could rock and the headless could roll. Although the whole spectacle seemed to spell doubt doom, I foolishly thought I'd be safe in my room. Look, his head came off and it went rolling. So he thought he'd be safe in his room. But then something happened that made my heart jump. From somewhere below me, I heard a big thump. I froze for a moment as quiet as a mouse. Yes, I could hear noises from inside the house. I heard noises coming from inside the house. I wonder what were making those noises. I put on my slippers and pulled on my robe. I shook like a leaf, but I don't think it showed. Then slowly but surely, I crept down the stairs, preparing myself for the biggest of scares. Hopefully the uh, stairs didn't squeak. Hmm, maybe they did. My hands trembled wildly. I opened the door. I still shudder now at the horrors I saw. The stereo spat out some hideous sounds as dozens of monsters jumped madly around. Look, they were in his living room dancing around. Whoa! Do this one again. The sight was horrific. It made my skin crawl. These monsters were having their Halloween ball. And right in the middle, one monster loomed tall, the hairiest, scariest monster of all. Their, a ball means having a dance. And look, they're all dancing and there's the tall, hairiest monster of all. He turned round and saw me I fell to my knees. I, I'm not very tasty, so don't eat me, please. He beamed ear to ear and broke free from the huddle, ran over and gave me a big monster cuddle. So he didn't want to eat him. He just wanted to give him a hug. <laughs> oh, that was so nice. At last we found you, he said with a smile. From Holland to Marquette, we've looked for a while. We came here to give you your wonderful prize. He held up a trophy in front of my eyes. A prize for me? I replied with a grin. But what did I enter and how did I win? You've won the first prize for the costume you're wearing. I, it even scares me and I'm tip top at scaring. So he came to give him a trophy for winning the best costume prize. This isn't a costume, I'm just dressed as me. Exactly, the scariest thing you could be. A small human child with a cute button nose. Your teeth are so shiny, you've only 10 toes. No hair on your face and no horns on your head. The whites of your eyes are not glowing or red. A bone chilling costume, a horrible sight, a worthy ensemble for Halloween night. So because he looked different from all the monsters and didn't have the hair on his face and horns and stuff, they thought he was scary because he was different. That's silly, huh? We partied together until the moon set, a Halloween night that I'll never forget. And next year, I won't want to hide in my bed. The monsters won't scare me. Look, they're having a party in his house and he stayed up Halloween night and wasn't scared anymore.
I'll scare them instead. Look, so he said next year the monsters won't scare him, but he's going to scare the monsters instead. The end. I hope you liked that one. It's a little bit about Michigan and what we have here around us. I love you so much. Mwah.